Uh, Jayantadi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Oh, good. Fine. Uh, I'm unmuting you now, all of you, because meeting after the meeting starts, we will mute everyone. Uh -huh. uh, Hello. Samida is also there, I think. Uh, Amit is also there. Yeah. Good evening, Samida. Hello, Apnar. Are you watching your video? Yes, you can see your video. You can start your video. Are you watching video? No, start your video. Yes, you can see your video. Are you watching your video? Are you watching your video? The typhoon is coming. No, no, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know what to do. Humidity. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's warm. Humidity. It's warm. Humidity. Yeah. It's very humid. Krishnendu, Bhaskar Vardhan. Krishnendu? Hello, are you there? Hello, Anjana? Hey, I'm here. Are you here? Yes, of course. After a long time. Yes, a long time. I'm in lockdown. Yes, I'm in lockdown. What do you want to say? Lockdown. I'm in 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 lockdown. खूब बालो लग लो अच्छा तो था यार चो तो था यार चो राव के लते राव के लते अच्छा क्या मैं ओखान का रोग अवस्था क्या हुआ एम नी ठीक है चे कोई चीज़ पे इसी के पाला भाई आमला तो एकदम ब्रियो बंदी तो मैं देखता हूँ ना ना बड़ी थे बड़ी थे एक बार ब्रियो बंदी था कहीं बाहर वही कल ना है ना लाशें मोट ऑन जाना देखो आप कहीं पर ही नहीं आई गौरव में तो ना ऑन ना किसी पोर्टी इच्छा कर लेनी हाथ छोटा हाथ तक पुल लाऊं Huh? Oh. Hey, Charity, give me राजीव शर्मा रोटरी रेता नहीं है मुक्त भक्त रह गए थे
करने के लिए तो करना ही पड़ेगा ना तुमको कौन बोला था जूम सीखने के लिए अभी राजा किसी तो थैंक यू club visits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our visit is also in June, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what your visit yeah. is also in June. <laughs> yeah. Devashita, now we are all having virtual aeroplane. Oh. <laughs> that's why. Right now, right now, I was in Allahabad with uh, RC membership, Pradeep Mukherjee. Okay. Just I finish that, I came back here. Panda okay. is on way. He is just presenting something, and then he will come back and join here. Okay, okay, okay. We had June June six membership meeting. We had. I see. So, for Zone Six membership. Yeah. Raja, it is it is only possible for virtual, <laughs> not know, <laughs> not physical or actual. It is not never possible. See, otherwise, otherwise. You cannot attend two meetings in a day in a physical sense. Mister, <laughs> oh, the forget about uh, attending two meetings. How can it be possible? Gary is giving time for three two four zero. Ah, definitely, definitely. How is Ian Richley is giving time for three to four zero? This is all because of virtual. Definitely, definitely. And all the past speakers which you brought to the virtual platform is excellent. And we did, we could not have ever got this opportunity. That's right. true. Lockdown has brought that opportunity. This is a very yes. important advantage of Corona. <laughs> That's why I. That's why I said always, na, that uh, Holger has said Rotary opens opportunity. So this is an opportunity opened for us. Definitely, definitely, it's a great opportunity. How many participants have joined here? Yeah? I think twenty-three. Not much. Aja uh, no not around around 28 ah yes bishop Aja, yes, uh, yes 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 uh, i will i will quit after the after the address of guang um, okay. and may not may not be able to participate in the question and answer session because we have the club meeting to okay. be followed by board meeting today yeah. okay so okay 6:30 okay. the club meeting and 7:00 no board meeting no problem bishop no problem. Uh, i will hear guang's address we'll see how much time it takes <laughs> लाइट आप
Hare Anjanadi, good evening. Good to see you. Good evening. Hello, Chair. Yes, yes, I'm fine. How are you? All fine. Good, good, good. Nice to see you, Anjan, after, after many yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> Last meeting was in Jorhat, na? Jorhat, yeah. Hey, Rajiv. Good to see you, man. Yeah. IPTG from 3030, Rajiv. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome Rajiv, to 3240, Rajiv. I am also coming from 3250 meeting. Oh, yeah, I was with your uh, DG there. Yeah, but I'm done. Okay, okay. You are there with Gopal. Oh, 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 Rajiv. I am with the membership oh, thing. Uh, okay. Uh, with, uh, Hello. Membership uh, level 1 meeting is going on. Hello. So, Subhashi so was also there. Uh -huh, that's now. what you were saying. Hello? 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 Are you hearing me? Am I audible? Gita, Gita, yeah, yes, you are audible. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, Gita, you okay, are audible. Okay, okay th thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Gita. Okay, sir. Okay. Good. Uh, who is logged in as Galaxy A20? Can you identify? Gita, Gita, Gita from Gangtok South, President elect, I think. President elect Gangtok South. Ah. Uh. Where is the first is first uh, fifty sixty will uh, add on panelists only? Uh -huh. Danny, Sapanda will hmm. join after 6.15, huh? Okay, uh, I'm looking at it. He will finish his presentation there and then he will mm -hmm. and keep What time is Gary joining? Gary was supposed to join maybe any time. Yeah. So it's keep, already keep, 6, keep, keep, huh? Uh, keep a, keep a uh, eye on keep. that. He can join any time. We have got Pinak Pani, Pinak from Greater Silchar. Panishar has also joined. Okay. Where is he? Bharat Mani Pradhan has joined. Uh, all the panelists, they can unmute themselves right now. If they want, they can unmute themselves. <coughs> oh, Binodji has joined. Binod Khaitan. Ah, Binodji. Binod, welcome to 3240. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, welcome, nice Vinunda. Welcome. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice to see you, Vinunda. <laughs> nice to be with you, Shubha, Raja. Thank you, Dada. Thank you. Hello, Vinodji. Namaskar. Aapka chela idhar bhi hai ek. Yes, sir. Vinodji ka to bohut sare chela hai idhar. Not my chelas. Participants. Okay. And I I am my computer is also coming. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. What are you 
你好。Gary， 你好 ，Welcome to Thirty to Forty。Thank you。Gary， just we will two three minutes time and then we will start。Namaste， Gary。Thank you。Sorry, have slight problem okay. to online. A little bit different from the last few weeks. How is everybody? Okay, everybody is fine. Yeah. And Gary, uh, I uh, can, yeah. I I can relate to uh, twenty years back one term that you have said. Any problem? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Share. <laughs> Share. Hello, it is not audible, sir. We are not hearing. I am not hearing. Not audible. Geeta, we are not talking yet. One we are not talking. talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Or, or you can keep talking. Then okay, we can okay, hear. sir. Everybody, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. From the hill of yeah, yeah. From... Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Gary, while while we are having some uh, fellowship time, I would like to present one photograph, which was taken 22 years back. Just see. Really? Yeah, I'm just okay. projecting. Good. Thank you. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, you're so tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's when I was. Uh, Personal rap, I think. This this was 1998 in Agra. If you remember the foggy night. Yes, sir. the uh, uh, Rotha at Asia. Rotha, Rotha, Rotha Asia, right? Okay. And you came there as a uh, road track uh, committee chair. Yes. yes. Yeah, I was the chair of the uh, RI. Rotary Act Committee. I was represent the president to Agra for the、uh, conference. Yes. Right. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. Now you grow up and change. <laughs> <laughs> Because the change is only the constant, Gary. So I change, I also change. <laughs> I think Subhashishda had found a fair and lovely in between. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> compared to yeah. the compared to the photograph, <laughs> <laughs> I understand that Governor Gillak was the、uh, chairman for that Rotary conference. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, I、That's、met、right. him at the International Assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want me to go next year. Yeah, yeah. For his、uh, district conference. Yeah. Right, right, right. Karunesh、right. is district governor like now. So still we are connected from the road track. Great. So friends,、uh, welcome everyone to this special virtual meeting. We just、uh, we are starting this because we have given around eight minutes time for settle out everyone log in and、uh, settling out in the meeting. And、uh, Gary, before we start,、uh, let me welcome you in three two four zero. It's a warm welcome、uh, to three two four zero, which is a northeastern part of、uh, India. 
uh, having around 3,100 plus Rotarians. Few has joined, and I'm sure as the meeting will progress, few will join more. We have few Rotarians, few past RI officials from neighboring districts. I welcome everyone. And before we formally start, I would request the serving district governor, Dr. Devashis Dash of District 3240, to kindly formally welcome Gary and other participants in this meeting. Governor Devashish, over to you. Good evening, friends. Ni hao, Gary. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> hao. Na, uh, nice to see you. And nice to see other Rotarians from different other districts, neighboring districts. As Raja has already mentioned, Rotary District 3240 is one of the largest geographical districts in the Rotary world. And I... Me and my wife, basically, we have very fond memories of you during the International Assembly, which we had last year. And you, you, your topic, basically, which was learning and leadership, which you gave us, it's something which is so pertinent these days, learning and leadership. It's a learning process for everyone. COVID has shown us how to learn the use of technology. That's why we are connected also to this. And it's something which is, uh, which is so nice to see that uh, Rotarians all across the world are getting connected. I usually feel that when I listen to you, you are one of the presidents who give us very simple messages. A um, president who gave us the concept of happy clap. And I think <laughs> after the meeting, you should tell us how to do that happy clap. The other thing which, which, is, uh, which makes me uh, sometimes to tell other Rotarians also about the concept of a very simple thing like high five. What is giving to Rotary Foundation 5% more and something like that, which I think you would be sharing. And the other, the interesting part is if a Rotarian does not give 5%, why shouldn't he he should give you five reasons why he should not give to the foundation. <laughs> so these are things which we would like to hear from you. But let me tell you, Gary, that uh, this year we have been lucky that we received six global grants from the foundation amounting to five lakh US dollars. We are in the process of giving 50,000 US dollars. We have already given 46,000 US dollars to the polio fund. And I think we would cross that 50,000 US dollars to the polio fund. We have contributed around 3 lakhs to the foundation. Let's see, like the target of around 4 lakhs should be fulfilled by the 30th of June with the help of all the Rotarians and with your motivation, especially today as the trustee of the Rotary Foundation, I think you would be uh, there to motivate all our Rotarians to contribute to the foundation. With these words, let me welcome you again to this District 3240 and welcome all our Rotarians to this, to this virtual meet. And it's over to Danny and Subhashish. Thank you. Thank you, District Governor, uh, Dr. Debashish, for your warm welcome to our past world leader and the chair for TRF, Gary C.K. Huang, and the other Rotarians. Friends, uh, before we pass on the uh, mic to Gary to address this August house, let me uh, give you a very small uh, brief information about Gary C.K. Huang, who doesn't know him much because maybe you have joined the Rotary in a later part or something like that. Gary C.K. Huang is a person who is in Rotary since 1976. And 76 to 2020, his energy, his spirit, and his enthusiasm hasn't been dropped uh, one person. That's not my talk. That's a world re uh, repercussion about Gary's activity. Gary basically from Taipei, but due to his educational background, he has spent a lot of time in US. The <clears throat> Insurance College of New York, he did his MBA from there. Eastern Michigan University, he did a BBA from there. The Eastern Michigan University USA from there, he got an honorary doctorate of 
business degree in 2014 when he was the leading the rotary world the ias university in india he was awarded a honorary doctorate degree for social science and community service same in 2014 national taipei university and technology of roc has given an honorary degree of business administration to gary in the year 2014 and use of university portugal also given honors causes of his sociology in 2015 uh, so basically he has a multiple doctorate gary ck wang among us currently he is the professionally he is the advisor of oily group sanchi development company limited he represents as a director and kang medicare company limited he as a director over there he has an advisor over there huang ping sing insurance scholarship foundation he is a chairman of this esteemed organizations all best out in taipei gary has experience of taiwan song sinking society company limited as a chairman he was a past chairman there sin kong life real estate past chairman get uh, danny can you mute the person who is uh, the sound is coming up thank you danny he was yeah, the past chairman the of taiwan good. taiwan pelican uh, express company limited royal host taiwan company limited ps insurance agency limited and in rotary he has few accolades as i said he has joined the rotary club of taipei in 1976 president of rotary club of taipei in 82 83 district governor of this district 345 then it was 345 later on it become 3450 uh, <coughs> in the year 1986 87 chairman council of past governors is taiwan in 898 99 director of rotary international in 2000 to 2002 vice president in 2001 and 2002 chairman of taipei asia pacific presidential conference committee in 2001 and 2 trustee of rotary foundation from 2004 to 2006 chair of taipei presidential celebration committee again in 2005 chairman of 2009 birmingham international institute committee in 2008 and 9 member of president's advisory committee in 2011 and 12 chairman of Rotary International Assembly Committee in 2013 and 14 he became the highest post in Rotary that Rotary International President in 2014 and 15 and i am sure everybody is aware of his sparkling theme of light up rotary we call that purposely we have kept the password up to this meeting as light up member of president's advisory committee in 15 and 16 once again special advisor to the china 2015 and 18 for rotary extension trustee of rotary foundation as a chair from 2019 and 2020 he has been awarded with service award self in 95 96 by rotary international the rotary foundation citation of meritorious service award in 1998 the rotary foundation distinguished service in 2003 and 4 with all these words i welcome formally the past rotary international president gary ck wang and the current trf trustee chair 23240 virtually on this meeting and would request gary to address this august gathering and then after he will take up few questions as an interactive sessions with all these words welcome once again gary and over to you for your deliberation thank you so much fellow terrans ni hao hao xie xie thank you thank you for your very very kind introduction also it takes so long but i want to remind you in six more weeks i will become a simple rotarian with jobless in rotary family <laughs> so now i'm very busy receive so many invitation online and my local rotarian in taiwan 
Now, no, I don't fly and try to catch me for all the meeting. And you know, we have more than 800 clubs, 12 disease, and I go uh, as many as I can for this past two and a half months in Taiwan. But today I'm very glad that I'm able to speak to one of the largest district in India with 91 club and more than 3,100 Rotarians. And also you are one of the largest geographical areas and you are cover more than nine Indian states. And District 3240 has a record of sending maximum peace scholars up to now, more than 29 scholars has attend this program in different universities of the world from your district. And you also have almost 1,000 road hack actors spread in more than 47 road hack clubs. I checked that because as you just mentioned, 22 years ago, when I served as the chairman of the Dota Act Committee in RI, I was representing the president to attend the Dota Act conference, they call Asia Agra. So that's why I know many of you, and I'm so glad your governor elect now uh, served as a Rotarian and he was spent more than 12 years in Rotaract and he is very kind and also during the IA tried to remind me although I couldn't recognize him now after so many years but he remind me if possible go back next year for his conference that's it sure that this year's RI theme, Rotary connects the world and also connects between the Rotaractors and the Rotarians. And I'm also most happy to know that your district, Rotaract to Rotary conversion is more than 20%. And uh, this is uh, uh, exactly what our president elect Hoger tried to do uh, to encourage the Rota Act to become Rotarian in when the opportunity is come. And we do need younger people to join us. So today, let me begin by thanking you for hosting this event and invite me to participate. Yes, during the introduction, I appreciate that. Through the support of all Rotarians and your generosity of the foundation and support to our foundation, by end of the April, statistics show that all the foundation donation up to now, still five million over our budget and target. And of course, that is more than 60 million compared to same period last year. And we hope the last two months, we can receive your continual support. And today, I want to speak to you today about the importance of Rotary during this current crisis and what the foundation is doing to help. At this difficult time, the world needs Rotary to help. 
bring people together. The world needs surgery to help the most vulnerable. And Rotarians need each other to stay connected and to take action against COVID-19. You know, long ago, before Rotary began, there was a man who embodies in himself the principle of Rotary. His name was Confucius. And he lived in ancient China. One of the words he spoke are words remembering today. He say, in English, we might say, if you see what is right and fair to act on it, you lack courage. Looking at everyone gathered for this virtual meeting, I see people who embody this idea. As Rotarians, we see the problems in the world. Then we take courage, steps to solve them. Even problems that many of us have never lived through before, like a global pandemic. We are people of action, people who create lasting change. Equipped by the resource of the foundation, we are able to make a difference in thousands of communities throughout the world. I'm proud of the work Rotary members and the foundation are carrying out to stop the spread of COVID-19 and to help people affected. Members can use district grant funds to support local activities, such as purchasing protective medical gear <laughs> for health workers. And you can repurpose previously planned activities as a COVID-19 response or reimburse COVID-19 activities dating back to March 15, 2020. In your district's 2020, 21 district grant. And you can apply your district designated fund, the DDF, to COVID efforts. The trustees are also Wrapping the 30% foreign financing requirement for any new global grant that address COVID-19. As of the last week, over $10 million for global grant has been used to fight COVID-19. In addition, the trustee recently added COVID-19 projects to its list of eligible activities for disaster response grant. Due to your generosity to the foundation, approximately $4.7 million in this grant have already been dispersed. As of April, your district has already donated $263,332 to the foundation. Thank you. And your district has already received a disaster response grant of $24,999 to supply masks and hand sanitizers to those affected by COVID-19 in India. Of course, Rotary has already been a leader in fighting disease 
and advancing health. We must also apply the knowledge and resource we have built up over many years in fighting another infectious disease, polio. The polio eradication program is already using the advanced disease eradication infrastructure to protect the vulnerable from COVID-19. In 13 countries, polio volunteers have been deployed to address COVID-19. So, please continue to take action and we will overcome COVID-19 together. And in the process, make Rotary and its foundation stronger. Please help by giving what you can to the Rotary Foundation so that we can push forward the amazing progress we have made for global public health. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Gary. So, yeah. so much. Thank you so much for your all information that you have given. And I'm sure that the parents who are attending this meeting would have benefited with the numbers that you have given for Rotary Foundation in days to come. Uh, Gary, as we, as we have uh, discussed the agenda uh, after your this speech, uh, we have an interactive session. A uh, few questions we have received from the Rotarians of our district, which we have already collected. And uh, I please to uh, inform you that in this meeting, your best class governor uh, of 3240 is present. Past governor Sapan Choudhury, 1415, the light up Rotary governor. So Sapan Choudhury uh, will coordinate the questionnaires that we have received from the Rotarians and would place in front of you uh, for your uh, reactions to that. So with this, I would request light up Rotary governor, past governor Sapan Choudhury to take over and conduct this business. <coughs> Thank you, Pastor Sapan. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Governor Elect Shivasis. Uh, welcome, Gary. Uh, Danny, can you spotlight on my face so that Gary can see me? Yeah, you, I, he can I, see I, you. I miss Governor. Yeah, you are okay, on the screen. Spotlighted. <laughs> okay. So, uh, good evening once again, and uh, let yes. me welcome you to 3240. This has been a wonderful uh, you know, uh, opportunity for us to meet you virtually, of course. And uh, friends, uh, let me tell you that, uh, you know, I was lucky that I was a governor when Gary was a Rotary International president. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, official biodata of uh, uh, Gary, which has been read by our district governor, Alex Uasis. But I have a few more information about Gary because I was his governor. Gary was a sportsman. He used to play basketball. And you appreciate <laughs> that playing basketball a man needs to be a tall man, which unfortunately Gary was not. But then still he was a winner because he, he said that I was not tall, but I was quick. So this is the, uh, the, 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 the quality of uh, our past RA president and uh, current uh, trustee chair Gary, that he is not tall, but he is tall in many sense, and he is very quick in every sense. When he talks about the theme, the, the wonderful theme we had in 1415, uh, Light Up Rotary. When he used to talk about his theme, he used to say that Light Up Rotary is more than our theme and not a theme for the, for the sake of having a theme, but only denote how can Rotarian illuminates Rotary making a difference in the world every day, every second, every minute, every club and every country we serve. So Gary, once again, I welcome you to 3240. And I have the series of questions I received from the Rotarian friends. And you know that who would not like to talk to Gary, a dynamic uh, past Rotarian director, uh, sorry, uh, president. So the first question comes from a Rotarian, Rotarian Samir Chaudhary. He is from Asansul Greater. And Samir says, 
it is little ethical, little emotional question he has raised in front of you. He says that in this period of crisis, keeping in mind the economical difficulties of the dedicated notarials due to COVID-19, whether RI is thinking of allowing some relief in RI dues, any, any relief for RI dues, his question is that. Can you hear me, Gary? Yes. I think during my speech, I already tell you uh, <clears throat> since early March, the board of the foundation trustee will take immediate action. We call a meeting and call all the uh, grand staff. Immediately we release one million first and then within one week it's gone. So we immediately switch another two million what we have left. And then that's not enough. And then we adjust our global grant. And also we dating back to March 15, that you are, uh, you are able to re sending or re switch your global grant for use to fight against the COVID-19. And also we with the 30% of the matching uh, from the partners. That's why an, another 10 million is gone within uh, one month. And I think through foundation uh, uh, trustee and also the staff, I think within very short period and more than 300 grand approved within one week or two weeks. I think we never have this done before. It took more than three months or six months to get the grant approved. So this is what we do best. So try to check with the governor or your district uh, 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 foundation chair uh, to know more about what you can apply and you can use the foundation uh, screen to help your local uh, fight against uh, COVID-19. Thank you. Okay, uh, Gary, thank you uh, for your reply. Uh, before I uh, go to the second question, uh, friends, Rotarian friend, let me tell you that, you know, Ni Hao was a brand name during 1415. Ni Hao was the beginning of every deliberation of Gary, all the time, whenever he is. And we, the governors, used to reciprocate by saying Ni Hao. And Gary used to react that, yes, your Chinese is very, very good these days. <laughs> so that was the uh, popularity of uh, Gary with Ni Hao. Uh, yeah, and, and please uh, uh, you also uh, let me remind you that, you know, Gary used to have happy clap because he believed that uh, before doing every anything which is good, which is lucky, you must have a happy club. So may I request Gary to please demonstrate how the happy club was during that day. Can I can you see you uh, clapping in happy clap? <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing we fair on the line on this uh, virtual meeting. I tried a few times. We clap our own, but we can't, can I hear you? But let's do it, all right? Don't forget it. One, two, three, four, and two. Are you ready to try? Yeah. Okay, happy clap, go. Our governor, John, and Light Laboratory, John, John, John. <laughs> The kind of energy Gary has every time, always, whenever we meet him, 
we find him in a you know you know uh, the full up energy and uh, full up enthusiasm so gary the next question comes from a person a rotarian tapos kumar roy who is from durgapur central i think tapos this question has already been covered by gary during his deliberation and i am repeating it at the cost of repetition once again he says that this is a technical question gary he says that you know whether a non rotarian friend can contribute to trf annual fund or disaster fund through rotary.org and through his choice of particular rotary club so i repeat the question danny yeah could you repeat the question because i think he didn't hear it yeah yeah gary the question was from rotarian tapas roy from durgapur central he says that whether a non rotarian friend can contribute to trf annual fund or disaster fund through rotary.org and through his choice of particular rotary club okay thank you uh yes the non rotarian are also welcome uh to donate the money to support our foundation and of course if he is not a rotarian he might not know how to donate this money directly to the foundation uh in headquarters so i would suggest that the best way is donate that through the local rotary club and you can help them and also up to you transfer this fund to ri and you can get the special recognition or appreciation letter to the donors and also can try to invite him to attend a rotary club meeting maybe he will become our club members and also of course rotary is not just receiving the money and we also uh show us what is his goal wishes or purpose would like to help for the uh people who need help or for the particular uh organization or for the elders or for the disease etc and unless or also for the scholarship uh etc and uh, uh we like uh those donors know that we are one of the best foundation in the world for transparency and for the management of all the funds in the proper way and then uh we can impress them and let them know where the money we spend and he even maybe not uh maybe too busy to become rotarian but he probably would be willing to continue to send his money through the rotary foundation and to support those people who need help okay uh uh so uh, uh friends you have seen so many rotary days during 2014 and 15 and rotary day was the brain child of our uh, past ri president uh, gary wang and he said that we need to showcase our good work to everyone in the community rotary days need to be fun and all inclusive invite your family invite your friends invite your neighbors to participate in rotary day and my hope is at the end of the program at the end of the day few of the non members will definitely join rotary in your club so that was the brain child of rotary uh, uh, rotary uh, past president gary and it was a successful uh, venture he also used to say that it is better to light one small candle than to curse the darkness that was a great words came from the mouth of gary uh, so uh, after this i, I come to the uh, third question of the day the question is from rotary nagesh prasad of rotary club of siliguri 
Nageshwar says that how can a Rotarian explain Rotary Foundation to a non-Rotarian in a simple language? And the non-Rotarian will be motivated to contribute to Rotary Foundation. So I repeat the question, Gary? Uh, no, no, that's okay. Uh, this is a hard one <laughs> and uh, no easy, but uh, yes, we should show our friend, the friend of Rotaran, that we are one of the best organization and foundation and for transparency and for the management and we are reliable. And second, we can tell him that Bill Gates Foundation because trust Rotary, trust Rotarian, so he gives so much money through Rotary and to help for polio eradication. And this is the best example that they come money, but they don't want to just give away like that, but they give away to an organization which Bill Gates is trust and believe. And we've been continuing to doing that for many years. Also, we are this close to end polio, but we will finish the last mile of this difficult marathon. Okay. Thank you, Gary. So it was a very funny question, I, 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 I think. But of course, as a great leader like uh, Dr. Yare Praski Chair, Gary has made it so serious. And I think the message has gone to the uh, person who has raised the question. I come to the fourth question. It's a question raised by uh, Rotary Sumitra Goswami from Rotary Club of Guwahati uh, City. She is a lady Rotarian, very active. She says that this is probably a very pertinent question of millions of Rotarians around the world that post COVID-19, how Rotary Foundation is planning to go ahead to make the world doing more good to the world where economical decision takes the driving seat worldwide. So I repeat the question, Gary? Uh, no, that's okay. Uh, we are service, service organization and we are not the WHO or WHA. <laughs> And uh, uh, we are doing stepping stone to lead and to guide other people to follow us. But we cannot concentrate on one particular disease or project because then our service will become very narrow. And uh, so our we cannot only focus on small group or one particular uh, project or one particular issue. So uh, all we can do, I would suggest is we do our best to persuade or to lead our Rotarian in different club, different district, and different zone that connected together and to help locally. Because this disease of a COVID-19 is hitting almost every city, every country. So uh, it's very difficult for one individual club or for one Rotary International uh, to do it alone. But since we are a leader in the service community and we are one of the best international organization, people, if they really try to help or people try to do something, I think they will search that who we are or who are the Lions Club or Kiwana, et cetera. And they will have a choice that who to follow. 
So we are very proud that we are the proud Rotarian because we serve. And I also very impressed my best class governors after five or six years already, you still remember what we did in our years. And yes, while I'm traveling as the chair of the foundation, I will invite to participate on many district or zone levels uh, program. I'm very proud that our theme of the Light Up Rotary impressed most of the people. And yes, and this Confucius proverb, uh, which has guided me and motivated me for many years, and it say that it is better to light a single candle than to sit and curse the darkness. To me, this saying carries three layers of meaning. First, Confucius advised us to selfless like a candle, which burn itself to bring light and joy to others. As a Rotarian, we devote our time and energy to our communities and improve the life of others. And second, we need to face life's challenges with courage. Instead of cursing and complaining about world's problem, we take action and make small change one at a time. And third, the light of a single candle may be feeble, but if all of our colleagues and friends all join, our community will be much brighter. That's what I say. If I like one, if you like one, 1.2 million Rotarian all like one, together we can light up the world. So this will be the best to tell our non Rotarian for them to trust us or for them to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. That's a wonderful uh, expression of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the question. It was a very uh, pertinent question. You have uh, handled the question uh, uh, so carefully, and uh, we are all confused uh, on your deliberation, your suggestions. And uh, now I have a question of myself, you know. Uh, I have served the uh, uh, Rotary International Rotary Foundation as a group study exchange team leader. And the uh, DGE, Shivashi, is also here sub uh, TRF as GAC team member. Now, I think this is a very prominent program of Rotary Foundation. And, and, and this could be continued with different minor changes if it is required. I have a firm belief that GAC program is the right platform to bring world peace. What do you say about it? Is it going to uh, relaunch again or any any... Uh, any other program you have from Rotary Foundation? Well, one particular thing we have to realize and we have to believe, Rotary do not have a permanent job. So president or chairman only one year. Although we started from president nominee, president elect, or chair nominee, chair elect, we served two years and 10 months. But only when we are the chair or we are the president, we can decide what we want to do in our year. And I have no right, and I cannot ask my successor, Ravi, Say, hey, mine is good. You should follow me. Well, Rotary spirit is not changing. 
but those who is a leader is change every year. So that's the difficult things. Since you are the best class governor, I'm very proud. 2014-15. That's the year we increased net membership forty seven thousand. So we started from one point one eight five million to one point two three million. But unfortunately, it come down every year. We almost go back to less than one point two million again. So we cannot tell the incoming president that you have to follow what. Which year is correct? Well, that's true. Also, if every year follow the same theme, follow the same pattern, follow the same game, people might get boring and might not like it. So we have to get used to the new idea, new theme, new leadership. But if you are not the president of a Rotary International, you probably the director or you are the District governor or past district governor, you can do your best. Try to uh, persuade or suggest your governor, you like the governor not money, to do something which is good for your local club and local talent. So, uh, foundation been successful for more than 100 years now, and uh, 104. Uh, we have so many uh, good suggestions, good program. That's why we are able, from first check of 20, uh, seven, uh, $50, until now, we have more than $400 million. This is not easy, and uh, we shall continue, and we need your continued support. Thank you. Oh, oh Gary, uh, uh, I think we are at the fag end of this uh, question and answer session. Uh, before I leave, I must raise a question raised by our beloved district governor elect, Shivashis. Uh, 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 Shivashis, can I have one more question before you? Shivashis, can you sure. hear me? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you can. Gary, so, so Gary, there are two questions uh, from my side. There are two questions, Gary. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, go okay. ahead. So this is a question from Rotary and Budhin Bothakur of Rotary Gohati West. He says that, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, pro probably you are aware that District 3240, 3240 is one of the highest producer of peace scholars. Do you know that? Any idea about that? Uh, I heard. I don't know exactly, but I know something is uh, quite good there. Yes. Okay. So every year, 3240 is producing the peace scholars. It's become a regular uh, foundation program of our district. So he right. says that if you uh, know that our district is one of the highest uh, producer of peace scholars, then mm -hmm. what recognition our district should have from the highest office of Rotary Foundation? I see. Yes, I, can, I want to congratulate your district already sent more than 29 uh, peace scholars. And uh, as you know, Indian Rotarian 10 years ago are uh, in receiving end for the foundation. But now you grow strong and you also give him back. So now you become the second largest uh, donating country. So I assume you will have much more opportunity in the future to send more scholar, especially now the president nominee, Cheka, is from India again. And also because of the 
big increase in membership. I'm quite sure in the future of the Rotary, probably every five or six years, you will have the president from India, not every yes. 20 or 30 years. Yes. So go ahead and when is your chance or is the Indian president's uh, year, you shall fight for that and you have the opportunity to get ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. So I'm coming to the last question raised by the district governor elect. It's a very touchy question, and uh, you know, uh, DG Suvasis has been a very dynamic leader of our district, and we are all very sure that during 2020-21, we are going to have a different kind of roti in our district uh, because of his dynamic leadership, his vision, his innovative ideas, and everything. But this COVID-19 has somehow, you know, it is a disturbing factor for the incoming governor also. I have, uh, I have spoken to many of the district governor elect, not only of our district, of any district. They have a fear, the fear of, you know, you know, the governor is responsible uh, to the Rotarian to contribute to Rotary Foundation. And this is one of the, uh, you know, criteria for a governor to be successful. Unless you have good membership, unless you have good public image programs, unless you have... Uh, uh, you know, good contribution and participation in Rotary Foundation program probably cannot claim that you are a successful governor. Now, when the entire world is suffering financially, what do you think that the fate of PRF contribution is going to be in 2021? Are people uh, 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 coming forward to contribute Rotary Foundation like we have we have been doing for the last 113 years, 14 years? Well, uh, I'm not a doctor. I am also not the God, I cannot tell the fortune, but I do know we will overcome the problem and we will overcome the challenge. Yes, according to current situation, uh, COVID-19 still affect many, many countries especially in Europe and United States. So nobody can assure that when this will be stopped. But I, myself, I think we will. This all depends on how soon the vaccine can be developed. Once the vaccine can be developed, I think we will have less risk and we don't have to worry and because we can prevent that. Just like the SARS and many other virus, including polio and etc. So this also have a different situation in different country. In Taiwan, the place I live now, we are lucky. We already more than 35 days, zero cases. And we have only total die, only seven person. And now we release all those Warranting and uh, those uh, uh, people, a few hundred every day. And according to the report, only one steer series using the brief machine. None of them is in serious condition. So we are lucky we open everything and we hope 2021 Taipei Convention you will all come. But Unfortunately, uh, this year, uh, Hawaii cannot go, but they are working on the virtual online convention started from June 20 to 24, two hours each in a, uh, uh, Chicago time in the morning. So, so uh, we never know. We have to 
face the challenge, but don't be fear. Uh, when we connect together, and we will overcome the challenge. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me just uh, share with you, Gary, that this year, current year, 1920, our governor is a doctor, and he has been uh, uh, very, very, uh, you know, enthusiastic in, uh, in, in, in doing lot many global grant projects. He has done it. He was, uh, uh, he has an idea of having uh, at least uh, 400,000 uh, uh, US dollar for contribution of Tree Foundation, which would be the highest in our district. So he has, uh, he has been trying to do so. So overall, he is a very good performer and our district is going very, very strong. So next year, uh, we are a little, uh, you know, worried about this COVID-19 situation. But then uh, since you believe that uh, our district governor-elect will achieve the target given by his president, uh, 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 Holger. So uh, now the last question, you know, uh, if you still believe that it is possible uh, for a governor to achieve it even uh, during this, this, uh, this uh, unfavorable situation, please share your thought what you will do if you are the governor for 2021 for 3240. Yes. I was started to contact my president elect, even through online or virtual meeting at the moment. And as soon as your government open the town or release people to go out, you can start to encourage the club president to have the in-person meeting as soon as possible. Because I don't believe that Rotarian, if you don't have the in-person contact, will go too far. And that's how we link together, work together, and willing to support each other. If only online, just yes or no, and next time I don't even open my, my, my iPad and the people cannot find me, I think Doty will become weaker and we might lose more Rotarian. So as the governor elect, a president you like, you should follow your RI president elect or chair elect very closely for their instruction and leadership because they have to have the good team and support from the staff and from other board directors and to work out the right decision to tell you how to do it. Just like this year, the early in May, President Mark Maroney and I and few executive board members, we decided immediately that convention in Hawaii should be canceled or change to the online convention because of the uh, disease uh, uh, infection so seriously. Up to now, we know this decision is correct. But during those mm. time, I told them, even if by end of May, the COVID disease disappear. But for those people who will go to Hawaii, are those from European, from Korea, from Japan, from Taiwan, from India, and those are the most serious hit by COVID-19. And all these people will meet in one place and you will never know what will come back again. Even the kids agree. <laughs> But also very important that every Rotarian who attend the 
convention are older than 60 to 70. And those are very high risk people who get it. That's the difficult situation, but because of this reason, we canceled this year. And uh, so far, up to now, I think most of the country, except few, still have a serious problem because of their, their government policy is not uh, properly management. But most of the country, okay, like Korea, like Taiwan, and like uh, or Singapore are under control. And uh, so we believe that India have so large population and we are in the warmer temperature and we shall have less uh, risk for COVID disease to, to come back. So try your best, uh, Governor-elect. Uh, I think you uh, smart and you are a hard worker, but still young. Under your leadership, we will overcome the problem. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Gary. Thank you once again for your uh, kind words. And we are thankful uh, on behalf of all the 3,000 plus Rotarians of Day 240. Uh, I thank you, and, uh, uh, and and we give our regards to Corina. Uh, thank please you. convey our messages to her. And uh, friends, uh, this was our uh, past RI president and present trustee chair, uh, C.K. Gary Wang, who was a president for OT International for 2014 and 15. And we are really uh, very, very encouraged uh, by hearing uh, Gary. With these few words, I thank Gary once again and hand over this proceedings to our district governor elect, Rotarian Subhasis. Subhasis, please. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Tapan Chaudhary, for conducting this question answer session as usual, very smartly, you do. And my sincere thanks to thank Gary for taking all these questions and answer the way you usually do. Because I know you always say in Roti, every response is the heart of the Rotarians of 3 to 4 zero. So before we go ahead and present the formal vote of thanks, I would just request District Governor Debashish, because it is a rare opportunity that the trustee chair is addressing and the serving governor is sitting in the other side. So Debashish, if you have any last words, uh, any closing remarks for da uh, Gary and the others, please, if you can go ahead with that. And after that, we'll proceed with oh, the formal uh, vote. Yeah, I don't because have I know it's anything, District Governor-elect. Basically, I don't have anything else to say. I, we have heard Gary speaking so clearly about how the foundation has been working and how, the, how he expects the foundation to go ahead. And you see, like, the optimism which he which is there in him. That 2021 also, in spite of COVID, nothing is going to stop us from donating or contributing to the foundation. And we shall overcome that. So for you also, you should not be feeling anything as such. 2021 would be your year and we would be crossing the barriers of whatever we, we are putting up for 4 lakh US dollars this year. You would definitely cross that one in spite of COVID or whatever it is. Be, be an optimist and carry forward. That's the word from Gary also and from my side also. And it's all for the Rotarians to do it now. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Devashish, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for your inspiring words. I know you are always beside uh, me as usual to help me to uh, sell away 2020 21. And I'm confident with all of your help and especially the motivation that Gary has given, if he would have been the governor-elect for 2021, what he would have done. I have taken a close notes of all these things and try to implement uh, in my following activities. Thank you very much. Once again, Gary, before uh, we call it a day, uh, I know it is close to 10 p.m. at your place. Uh, I would like to convey uh, my heartfelt thanks 
to you for accepting our invitation to come virtually for this meeting and especially a little late hours because of the geographical time difference. Uh, I know it's, it's a little late at your place, but still you have considered our request and consented to come here. I convey my thanks on my personal behalf, on behalf of Governor Tebashish, and also uh, all of the COG members, the past uh, and the future uh, RI officers on their behalf and, and 3,100 plus Rotarians who made this district are strong and still till today. Uh, I convey uh, greetings to you and Corina. We are you. sending you, that's a, in every meeting we are doing these days. <laughs> we are meeting virtually, we are not meeting physically. Uh, we can't shake hands, but definitely we can send you an invisible basket uh, from 3240 to Taipei at your <laughs> residence, which you can open up closing your eyes and you can feel the warm greetings affection and love from the Rotarians of 3 to 4 zero, which will keep you warm, happy, and safe in this pandemic situation when the entire world is facing. I'm sure soon we'll be having your physical presence and wisdom of words in 30 to 40. Uh, we are looking forward. When God permits, definitely we can have that opportunity. With these words, I once again convey my thanks to you, wishing a very, very successful Activities you are having, I know after you said that in next one year, one month, you are taking off from the foundation chair and you will be a normal Rotarian from 1st of July. I know that, but Gary, I also reminded that the Taipei would be hosting the next international assembly in next June. And the person like you can't remain stand, sitting idle at home. I'm sure you'll be on ground once again to give us the best uh, convention once again in Taipei in next June 2020, June 21. With these words, thank you very much once again, Gary. Thank you very much, everyone, for being with us. Stay tuned for next meeting uh, announcement a couple of days back after. And till then, good night to Gary. Have a good and very, very sweet sleep so that tomorrow morning you can wake up and you can start your day. And a good evening and a good night for the Rotarians of 30 to 40. Thank you so much. Take care and bye. See you all 2021 Taipei Convention in June. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We hope we'll all be able to go, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we do hope there's no co no COVID and we can all go. Can we meeting go? Can we come? Can we come? Give you a minute. Why is that? Hello. Hi, the whole session. Hi, Jainthi. Hi, as usual. Good evening.